Hi guys, it's Tuesday Inspiration with Toby. I'm so glad to be with you today and to just drop this piece with you. I would want to say that we're all doing well, we're all doing very well in our various fields, but we need to do more. So that takes me straight to the topic of today, which is reliance. As humans, we're built naturally to um, become successful uh, by getting involved in so many things. We need to rely on so many things or so many people before we become successful. You know that if you are into sales, you need people to buy your products, you need people to um, invest in you, you need people to also just um, try to patronize you and you know that is just the order of the day, that's how life is basically. But what happens when people do not really um, try to invest in you, when people don't even want to associate with you, when people who you think should help you naturally are not out there to help you any longer because they feel like, yes, they've tried a lot for you. Yes, a lot of people get to, um, quote unquote, adopt you or just get to enter into a relationship with you be it a business relationship or whatever relationship that comes to your head just because they want to help you now when they see that the help they are rendering to you is becoming too much because it gets to a point where people feel like yes they've helped you enough you're supposed to now start to help others or you're supposed to now start helping them then they begin to withdraw when they begin to withdraw we begin to see like oh this person doesn't like me anymore or this person is not willing to just continue investing in me it probably might not be the truth it probably might be that you're supposed to enter into relationships or business relationships whatever type of relationship for you to learn something for you to learn one thing or the other what happens when people do not regard you any longer what happens when the things that you rely upon are no longer obtainable what happens when they can no longer function or they can no longer help you to achieve that desired success do you just them um, give up on yourself do you just get downcasted do you just think that yes there's nothing valuable that's going to come out from you and you just want to stop no you shouldn't think that way you should think that yes I am into this kind of relationship, I am into this business relationship, I am working in that particular organization for me to gather a lot of things. Now when I gather a lot of things in terms of knowledge, in terms of um, mental capabilities, you know, when we go to school, we go to school to learn a lot of things just so we can be better, just so we can prefer solutions in our various fields. Some of us in our offices rely on just one particular colleague to do everything for us. When the colleague now leaves or when the colleague is sick, we begin to find it difficult for to do so many things. If you rely on people or rely on things too much, you probably will be losing focus on how you're supposed to sharpen your skills or sharpen your potentials or how to just them um, achieve things basically you have to just come to terms with the fact that it is important for you to invest in your skills it is important for you to invest in your time it is important for you to do things that would make you successful it is important for you to rely solely on your own abilities see your mental health is very important if you don't have the right mental health you probably would be going through a lot of issues you begin to self fall into depression just because you feel like oh all this, all of these things you rely upon are not working you don't have to rely on so many things for you to be successful you just need yourself you need your strength you need to be stronger than your problems you need to be stronger than all of those things that are giving you issues if you must be successful you just have to understand that yes i'm getting into this conversation with this person so that i can gather some knowledge to be able to do it on my own that's why when i was giving the analysis of school you go to the four walls of a university, you want to learn something from your professors or your doctors or your lecturers basically and they are not going to be with you in your chosen field or your chosen career. The day you would graduate is almost that the day they will stop impacting 
upon your life. It is what they have impacted on your life that will keep you going. But if you feel like, yes, you've tried to cut corners, you, you've not been doing the right things, you've not been investing in yourself, then you probably would struggle through life. If you would be able to understand that it is okay for you to go through storms and for you to weather the storms and you know just tell yourself that i am my own driving force i am self-reliant i'm self-sufficient i will do things on my own and i know that i would achieve them then that moment you begin to achieve so many things some things are just there to help us to become better some people are there to help us to become better not so we can rely on them on them for the rest of our lives not so they can just be um, around for a very long time if probably those who have lost their parents or who have, who have lost a loved one who they relied on so well you know you would understand with me that it's not easy to lose somebody who you love so well and um, you feel like okay yes this is the person that will help you do everything in life you must understand that it comes to a point that every relationship everything you get involved in everything you rely upon would expire there's an expiry date for everything there's an expiry date for everything um, for example I would want to say that if you are maybe married um, you might think that there's no expiry dates, but you need to understand that you have to build capacity. You have to build up your children and make them know that they can be self-reliant so that when you're old and you, you, you probably pass away, they can now stay on their own and say, okay, yes, these are the virtues, these are the things that you've instilled or you've, 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 you've given to them. These are the lessons you've given to them and they can also now be self-sufficient and self-reliant and begin to create wealth for themselves so you know that everything in this life has an expiry date life itself has an expiry date but it's just that we don't know when but you have to ensure that you're self-reliant and you're trying your best to create that best version of yourself that you want to become it's very important that you have a creative mind such that when you are trying to do things you be very creative and you begin to you know just do things that would not be ordinary in the society i want to take this quote from thomas davidson he said associate with the noblest people you can find read the best books live with the mighty but learn to be happy alone rely upon your own energies and so not wait for or depend on other people rely on yourself don't wait for other people for you to be happy don't wait for other people for you to be successful yes people will help you but people would only invest in someone who is definitely working us on him or his or herself you know people will want to invest in you if they see that yes okay yes this person has the potential this person has something that is doing that will probably bring back returns to me so nobody gives um all their all to someone who cannot uh, probably just be self-sufficient or self-reliant in the nearest future so why not just think about reliance as something that is a big deal for you to Tell yourself that yes i'm going to rely on my strength i'm going to get the best out of myself and i'm going to keep pushing until i come your way um next week tuesday please try to build up your capacity try to invest in your skills and watch your life blows on and watch your life make a meaning so don't forget it's tuesday inspiration with toby join me next week tuesday thank you very much bye